let's take a look at how we can modify a post-human patch to output on multiple channels. So what we want to do is have each of the four sounds output into a different channel in our DAW. So we'll use a multi-output version of Contact. Um, first, let me just show you what this sound sounds like in stereo. This is the patch Eterna. Cool. And next we'll look at it, uh, a modified version that's outputting to several different channels and you can see that they're all being processed with different effects. And the cool thing is once you get into working this way with uh, outputting to different channels in your DAW, it's just endless. I mean, you can do so many different things with effects. So let's pull up a multi-output version of Contact. So we'll do the eight stereo, eight mono outputs. And up top, we've got this output button. This shows us the outputs in Contact. So what we're gonna do is hit the Add Channels button. Um, and what we want to do is have four stereo channels, so one for each sound uh, in the post-human patch. Um, that's, so that's the quantity. And then under number of channels, we want it to be two because it's stereo for each one. Uh, and for the sound card setting, we just want to connect it to uh, the first output on the, our interface. And then check the box Ascending Output Assignment. Um, and what that will do is for each channel, we'll assign it in order. We'll also check delete existing channels before creating new ones. And actually, um, if you want, and what I'm gonna do is save this as my default configuration. So I'll check that box as well. So let's go ahead and pull in the patch Eterna, and then we'll get it all set up to output on different channels. So I'm using Logic here. It can be different in other DAWs. What I'm gonna do here is for this multi-output instrument, I press the plus button and that adds an aux um, and automatically assigned to the contact outputs. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and label them. So post-human 1, post-human 2, 3, and 4. And while I'm at it, I'm going to label the, the output channels in contact. So the same thing. All right, now let's take a look at the routing. So we'll press the uh, little wrench icon to go into edit mode. And we're going to scroll down to the instrument buses area. And uh, you can see that the outputs are routed to the inserts. Um, what we want to do is route each bus to a discrete output. So um, you can see they're all listed right here. Um, so what we're going to do is go to bus 1 and then assign that to output 1. Bus 2, assign it to post human output 2, and so on. We'll do that for the 3 and 4 as well. And let's take a look at the outputs and we can see it's outputting on all four channels. So there we go, our setup is good to go. So we'll take it out of edit mode. Now notice that the delay send doesn't work anymore because we are sending it to the outputs before it hits the sends. So just to make that clear, I'm just gonna turn the send all the way down just so that we know that it's not doing anything. So what I like to do um, in Logic is actually group all of these uh, aux channels that are associated with the multi-output contact into a track stack. So you just select them and then right click and hit create track stack. And this is a summing stack. The other thing that's nice about this is then you can also save them as a patch. So you can save like your whole effects chain on all the different outputs as a patch in Logic and recall it. So we have our multi-output setup all ready to go. Um, and now we can start adding effects. Okay, so we'll jump ahead here. So uh, to a version where I, have a uh, where I have different effects on each track and we can take a look at what the effects are and what they're doing. 
So I'll solo the first sound. And you can hear that um, I've got a delay on this, the pod farms delay. And that gives it a little bit of warble. And then Neutron, which I have on each channel, is just doing EQ and compression. I'm just doing a little bit of carving and dynamics processing. So in the second channel, I've got the Waves H delay on it, which is, again, another delay, but it just has a different color to it. And notice that on that one, the wet is 100% wet. So now this third channel has a plugin called Spectral Drone Maker by Michael Norris, which basically just it does a spectral smear of whatever its input is. So you can hear it just creates this hazy pad. It's beautiful. So on the fourth channel, we have Pod Farm Stereo Delay, and we have Eventide's Black Hole Reverb, and the reverb is 100% wet. So as you can see, like one of the things I like to do is have one of the sounds, channel one, be partially dry, and then the rest of them be different shades of wet, um, and you get end up getting this very heavenly sound. So let's hear what that sounds like all together. So that's how you can process a post-human patch uh, with different channels in your DAW. Thanks so much.